Alright guys, let's get straight into um, how we're going to grow this account and how we're going to actually make enough money to... Alright, so my goal is I'm not even going to underestimate myself. Alright, so literally... Not even for this month. What week is this? Let me get out there. This is the first week of October. Next, mm, by the twenty first. So, um, let's say let's two hundred dollars. I want them, I want that made. I want that made live. All right, guys, so this is where you start thinking. You start thinking of how you're going to grow and what you want to do. All right, so I'm thinking about, or I already have one account. I have one account with, I have one account with Sway Markets. Um, I'm trying to see what I want to do because I want to grow like I want to have enough money because I want to consistently put in some money and grow it uh, but I don't want to grow at risk I feel like you're gonna to have to grow it risky because flip because what we what I really want to do is take a hundred is take strictly I'm talking about like the best setups in New York session only on NASDAQ. And I'll take that and try to grow that into um, really around two. Once you once I get to about two, then it's just like, okay, now I can sit back and relax. Really 250. So I think what we should do is because I know a lot of people want to see this. So just starting off this whole challenge and like everything on YouTube, I'm going to have one account with Sway Markets. Uh, it's going to be, I'm, a, I'm, I'm actually going to try to put at least 150 in there. At least 150. And then we'll try to double it. So we'll grow it to uh, 350 or 250 maybe. I want at least 150 in account. And we don't even have to trade it. But the monthly goal is what's ten percent of that? Cause we just need to grow ten percent. Nah, buddy, that ain't gonna work. We're gonna have to three X that shit. We're gonna have to risk ten percent per trade. The fuck? <laughs> Let me see. Um. Maybe 50. That's what I'm thinking. Make 50%. So that's like five trades. It's high risk. So if we if we're trying to grow this, because I'm trying to get to the K's. I'm trying to actually get to the K's. So to, to grow that number, honestly, guys, I'm telling you, I'm going to be so freaking picky on the type of trades that I take. I'm probably not going to take any trades at all. Um, I probably just won't, bro, because I'm going to be so picky on the type of trades that I want to actually take. It's risk. So we're going to have with Sway Markets uh, 150, and we're going to try to grow it. Um, that's 50%. If we 100% that, because look, if we risk 10% per trade uh, from 150, that's literally $10. So we have five tries. So the $50 can literally be cushions. We have five tries to get it right. Um, 
each trade if we go for one to two. Uh, 20, 40, 60. We already um, 60, 80. If we take four trades, worry, bro. Yeah, fuck. 150 times. Yeah, if we take four trades, we'll be up that. But I don't know. Can you make 100%? I don't know. With NASDAQ, the way NASDAQ has been looking, bro, I don't know. Let's actually just go back and see. And see, go and hop into Telegram right quick. And actually look at what's been going on this past week. So we can actually look at data. So we won't assume anything. Alright. So it looks like, um, yeah, the markets were looking trash. I didn't trade for a good while. Uh, this is August. Why am I only in August? Yeah, that should be in October. What the freak? Okay. Yo, why is this so hard to do? Yo, that was a beautiful trade right there on GU. That actually happened too. That was a beautiful trade. We just want to put that out there. Dude, I was banking. See, that's that's that is literally my best trade. I deposit $99. I make $78 on um, off of this. So I put 99. I put not even a hundred in, I put 99 in. And I need to figure out what I did on that account. But then I started taking, I started trading other things like Euro NZD. But then I got, I started get messing up because I don't know how to pair moves. And then it'll probably, it will go in profit and then it'll start consolidating and it'll mess my account up and I'm trying to trade something else. So I'm literally just strictly trading NASDAQ. All of these, I literally just couldn't wait to get out. But literally, as you can see, the main mess ups that I'm seeing is if I take one of these trades and just hold it and do what I got to do, I'll be good. And there's no reason why, and going back looking at my mistakes, I'm selling NASDAQ. I don't know what's, it had to be consolidation. Let's see what the trade actually was that we took it. This was NASDAQ buys, so we bought above this level, 93 pips. All right, so we got in, we caught those NASDAQ buys. Okay, cool, about 80 points. That's what I'll say. I try to catch. I try to catch points instead of. Um, yeah, we was really doing Nasdaq. That's up sixty, so we caught seventy one points with Nasdaq with a zero point ten. So all we have to do is just literally take one good trade and be really right about it on Nas with a zero point ten on a one fifty, and I believe we can clock in more than a hundred percent. Definitely. I definitely think we can 150, bitch. That shit. Especially if you're using that, we can catch pips. Um, we may have to go look at the market. Let's continue to go down so we can see how NAS is actually moving now. Um, but NAS was moving beautifully. Like, okay, like last week, uh, this is one of the trades I took. Price came, it broke above this level, giving us an indication. So I really wanted to get in here, but it put me in here and I went in the, it's another zone above there, but I went in for this. Uh, price was going up, up, up. It literally broke this level right here. It gave us an indication. It, it moved below this level. Um, it, it literally did that, came back into here and then shot down and then shot down again. Yes, it's moving very weird. I'm trying to see if I have anything but NASDAQ though. Nah. Let's have to just go look at NASDAQ if we're planning on doing something like that. But also, I'm planning on, like, with, with the whole thing with my business, I'm planning on trying to save as much money as possible. As much, like, when I mean save as much money as possible, like, I want to have a certain amount in my main bank account. Because I have my, 
regular bank. And then I have business bank. And every time I get a check, I want to at least put, I want to stuff money here. At least, to go into business, I'll say 50. But we're going to throw 150 in. We're going to sacrifice 150 or at least 100. 100, 150 around that area. The regular, we're going to at least have to put 100 in no matter what. So that's 250 every time I get paid going into that. And um, get paid twice. That should be 300 at the end of the month. That should be 200. That's what I'm thinking. That's my saving plan with that. And I feel like when you when you save your money, you know, you just move in good with life. All right, so we have a $150 uh, account. Um, if we can catch literally 80 pips, 80 pips a week, how many more weeks it is, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go for trying to catch pips. And if the pips not there, then we don't take it. Um next week so we got all next week now that's our goal we want to aim for 40 pips per week on NASDAQ. But that's, that's if we can get that. If we can get um, 80 pips per week on NASDAQ, then we'll be making uh, $100 per month on this. I mean, $100 per week, basically. Dang near. Let's do 80 times 4 or 80 times 3. That's about 240 a month we can pull in and grow that account. We'll be at around 390. And then once that, once we get around 390, if we can manage to get 80 pips every time and not lose, or keep our, our losses small, dude, we can flip it. Once we get to 390, we can go ham, because then we can enter, we can risk a little bit more, and we can talk about plans on that. But far as business plans for the upcoming week, because I just want to go, go ahead and get this out of the way so I don't have to do it no more. And I'm going to post it on YouTube so you guys all can see it. I'm going to start an account with 150. I'm going to post um, how I'm going to make the MyFX thing so you guys can see the MyFX. You can see all the trades I take and everything so it can be as legit as possible. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to start training there. And I'm also vlog everything. So I'm going to post more videos in the Telegram. So the Telegram is going to have the most videos. It's going to have the most content. It's going to have the most everything. So you guys make sure you check that out. Yeah, uh, for my business, definitely. That one account, we're going to throw some money in. 80 pips per week. We're not going to withdraw any money. But we're going to be very stingy on every trade we take. So yeah.